In death as in life, Jimmy Savile was simply flamboyant, and so it seems fitting that his send-off should be a similarly glittering affair. Goodness gracious, lying in state in the bar of Leeds's Queen's Hotel next to the train station. Sir Jimmy Savile making his final journey in a satin gold coffin. As it happens, next to the last cigar he ever smoked. His fans, guys and gals, queuing up to pay their respects. It's exactly what he would have wanted. Um, there's, there's, there's very few, if no, celebrities other than Sir Jimmel who could have had this wish for their send-off and the public to look at and go, yeah, actually, that's a great idea. Move in. It choked you up. It was more than what we ever expected, you know. It was tastely done and beautifully done. On Wednesday, a funeral mass in Leeds, where longtime friend Howard Silverman will be reading a eulogy. In his words that he wanted on his headstone, it was good while it lasted. On Thursday, his coffin will be driven through Scarborough before being buried at a 45-degree angle at his request so he can see the sea. Sir Jimmy Savile, OBE, dying two days short of his 85th birthday. A life lived full. £40 million raised for charity. How's about that, then?